this is what your desktop look like after end of this video in this tutorial i'm going to show you that how to install this cool frost glass theme for windows 11 i'll show you step by step how to install it and one more thing this customization is not going to affect your system performance feel free to use it and let's start So before we start, make sure you have created a restore point. It is always a good practice to create a restore point before you do anything with your system. Just click on search and type here create a restore point and open this dialog box and in here you need to select your local disk C and then click on create, give it a name and then click on create. So it will create a restore point. If anything goes wrong, you can revert your system using this restore point and then click on close and then OK. OK, now we need to ready our system for using custom themes. We are going to use this tool called Sigurex theme tool. Right click on it and extract these theme files and cut this folder into C drive and paste it here and then open this folder and open this folder again and here you can see this theme tool just right click on it and then click on run as administrator and then click on ok and in here you can see this dialog box just select these two boxes and then click on install so i already installed it i am not going to install it again i'll show you how to apply the theme and now we need to apply the theme here you can see this crystal theme for windows 11 just right click on it and then extract these theme files and then click on ok now open this theme folder and go to this crystal theme for windows 11 and crystal theme and copy these theme files and go to this pc go to local disk c go to windows folder and find resources folder and go to themes and paste it here okay now go to c drive again and open this theme tool folder again and right click on this theme tool and then click on run as administrator and then click on ok ok now in here you need to select this crystal theme and then select pass and apply ok so theme has been applied now we need to install the icon pack to install this icon pack first you have to unzip this icon pack And open this 70sp folder and you need to rename this to e and then click on yes okay now you need to use this tool called 70sp just right click on it and extract these files and then click on ok and rename this to ee2exe and then click on yes and then right click on it and then click on run as administrator and in here you need to select this add custom pack and go to this 70sp crystal icon pack folder and select this icon pack and click on start and then click on yes so it will take some time to complete the process i'll be right back after installation this icon pack okay so icon pack install has been complete here you can see would you like to reboot now just click on yes to reboot your computer after reboot you can see this pop-up message the system has been passed that means your icon pack has been applied now to install this software called start all back double click on it and then click on run and then click on install for everyone and then you'll see a pop-up like this just close it and then right click on taskbar and then click on copy this and turn off this taskbar and then click on restart now and go to this start menu and also turn off and then go to explorer and then select windows 7 command bar and then you'll see something like this then close this window okay now we need to apply the blur effect to apply the blur effect first you have to unzip this release folder just right click on it and then click on extract files and then click on ok and then click on yes and cut this folder into c drive and paste it here and open this release folder and here you can see this register just right click on it and then click on run as administrator and then click on ok so it will apply the blur effect now we need to make some changes go to this release folder 
and open this config file and here you can see this show line true just make it false and then click on file and then click on save okay now it's done and that's it i hope you like this video if you found this video helpful please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next customization video